Hello to all my beautiful food nistas and happy new year to you all. All the best of all things positive and beautiful for the year 2020 and beyond. Today I have a really great food item that is super easy and I'm talking 20 minutes or less easy. I'm talking 15 minutes or less if you know how to finesse your way in the kitchen easy. I'm talking, they're going to think that you've been slaving away all day in the kitchen. And this recipe is so super easy, so super stick to your ribs hearty. And yeah, did I say that it's so super easy? I sure did. The item that we will be preparing today is turkey chili. How easy can that be? Well, I'll show you today how easy it can be. 15 minutes if you know how to finesse your way in the kitchen easy. So, there's so many different ways, different things that you can pair it with. You can pair it with rice. You can make a taco salad. You can pair it with cornbread. You can pair it with potatoes. Initially, I had wanted to make a taco salad. I usually buy the um, salad kits uh, at BJ's or Sam's Club. And, um, I have it like for two days at least, you know, I eat half and then use the other half at another time because they come pretty big. So, um, that initially was what I wanted to do. However, what I had in my fridge was going sour. So I had to scrap that idea. But I did take out the enclosed packet in the in the salad kit, which has the uh, taco, like sprinkles of taco um, slices in it with pumpkin seeds and, you know, all kind of good stuff that I can throw on top of uh, my chili, turkey chili. Um, so I had to think quick on my feet because my stomach was starting to growl and <sighs> when I'm hungry, I become impatient. And so I was like, okay, saw the bag of potatoes there. I said, you know what? I can create a baked potato, taco, turkey, chili type of meal. And it turned out better than I had expected. It's really easy. The, the ingredients are pretty simple. I take major shortcuts because I really didn't want to cook because I had other things planned to do today. So, you know, being in the kitchen for, a co you know, an hour and change was like not <laughs> in my, uh, in my future. So, um, the ingredients are, uh, ground turkey that I purchased at Whole Foods. We have the, um, baked potato, the russet potatoes that I purchased at Whole Foods as well, um, the uh, black beans in a can, uh, Whole Foods, uh, tomato paste, um, tomato paste, we have the uh, slivers of carrots, and I thought that would give it a really great crunch. Um, they're, uh, they're the carrots that comes in the chips, you know, like the ripples, it has the ripples in it and it comes in, you know, like a, a, a chip. So I would take a couple of those, slice them up really fine just to add texture and crunch and extra goodness, healthy goodness to, um, my meal. Um, I, also added the organic sal salsa. That is my secret weapon. There is no cutting up of onions, peppers, tomatoes, all of that stuff. No, I'm not going through that. 
Not when a, a, a bottle of salsa has everything that you would need. And it even has the heat. If you want it hot, purchase the hot salsa. If you want it medium, purchase the medium one. If you want it mild, you could purchase the mild. I chose the medium just to give it a little bit of a kick, which um, worked out very well. Now, I am a free stylist. So, um, in preparing the uh, turkey, the ground turkey, I splashed a little bit of red wine in it, which added a dimension to it that was really, really good. Um, and I think, truthfully, that, that made all the difference. Um, because it gave it a depth of flavor, it worked out really well. Um, other, what, I'm trying to think, what else did I put? Oh, adobo, garlic powder, um, and what else? I feel there's something else that I'm missing. The adobo, oh, corn, frozen corn. Yes. Um, and, I, and, you know, for garnish, you could always use guacamole or just mashed avocados or uh, sour cream. So all of these things uh, blend very well and pairs super well with the uh, turkey chili. Um, so without further ado, I will show you the pictures and have it on video for you. You could check out my Facebook page. You could check out my Instagram. You could check out my YouTube. Um, you can see all of the ingredients and the pictures of uh, this delicious uh, menu item that is super easy, super delicious, super hearty. And, um, oh, there goes my phone. And um, just, you know, sometimes you don't want to eat out. Sometimes you don't want to order out. Sometimes you just want some home food that you know you'll have and it, it'll stick to your ribs. And this is it. And if you don't have that time, which a lot of us don't, this is it right here. 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Ciao for now. Hello to all my beautiful foodnistas.